Hey folks, today's a wonderful day. Every day's a beautiful day. Oh my God, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Uh, can I say that my first week as a sex worker has been extremely eventful and I love it. Whoa. There's an issue about my dick size. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Whoa. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? So Twitter has been on fire. Fire. Fire about my dick size and uh, uh, this one idiot said that I had a baby carrot for a dick I have slack whoa baby carrot dick I have a baby dick okay baby carrot dick I have a baby dick okay baby carrot dick I have a baby dick okay baby carrot dick I have a baby dick okay the average penis size in the world is 4.6 to 6 inches that's the margin. That's a lot bigger than average. Whoa. Eight inch bagel, that's my type. Right? The point is, is that I baby carrot for a dick. I don't. Do I, honey? And it's not true. Right? Can take their member and it has floppage and it, you can swing it around. Okay? Three quarters. Five and three quarters inches. Is the next baby carrot dick? I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? Baby carrot dick, I have a baby dick, okay? But there's an issue about my dick size. Baby carrot dick. I have a baby dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Okay? Baby carrot dick. Okay? And it's not true. Right? Okay? Baby carrot dick. That's a cool song. What's up, guys? It's Monday. Wow, there's a lot going on right now, huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, stuff or stuff is popping off on Twitch. So here's the thing. So I have an ad blocker for Twitch. However, she's doing something new with some, I don't even know how she's streaming now because it looks different. And it's only blocking some of the ads. So I'm going to see if we can watch some of it because I believe that she is live right now. Um, hold on one second. Let me grab it. Okay. So let me see if this works. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys can hear this. Okay. I'm hoping my ad blocker works. Okay. Wow. Oh gosh, she's loud. Look at this! Does it seem like this is proof that I'm saying is true, you stupid fucking bitch? Wow. Okay. I'm gonna turn her down. Sorry about that. Uh, Liz, thank you so much. Love your chat. Well, thank you for being here. Holy crap, she's loud. All right. All right. All right. Wow! Look at that! Okay, I'm gonna turn her down a little bit. Look at that! Just look at that! Shani is right here. Wow. But yet, you'd rather believe a liar on the internet than the fucking source. Than the fucking source. Always believe in these fucking lies other people do. And say, never go into the source being like, oh, wow. She left where she was? I didn't know that. And I'm still here, stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, she's lying that she's hungry. I'm fucking hungry, stupid. Then get a job, stupid. It's really not that difficult. I'm gonna have to turn her down some more. I'm gonna have to bust my eardrums out. Dang. 
Uh, Shaw of Thirst, thank you so much, Shani. Rage Stream for the win. For reals? I just left G-Man's live. It's scary when you find yourself agreeing with G-Man. It is scary. But I, again, I will warn you, G-Man is a broken clock. Eventually, he will be wrong. Just saying. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, wow! Shani does nothing but Delta A. What's the last time you see me do any fucking Delta A? <laughs> wow, she's so mad. This is amazing. Oh, wow! Shani abuses her kids because we see your content. When did I ever say I did that? Are you, you're you kidding me, right? You're, you're literally kidding me, right? Your boyfriend admitted to kicking them in the head. And you admitted that it happened. And then you knew that you weren't supposed to take him back because CPS didn't want you guys in the same household together. And then you chose your boyfriend over the kids. So, what? When did I ever say I did that? Ever? I didn't. It didn't come out of my mouth. It came out of people who are fucking judging people, doing conjecture, conjecture. and putting out misinformation. You mean like this, the state of um, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania? Because CPS seems to say that what was happening was abuse. The fact that you lost your kids way back in June and you still haven't gotten them back and you probably aren't going to be getting them back is a pretty good indication that the children were not uh, being treated properly. On top of the fact that your boyfriend going to actual jail for physically attacking one of the kids, which I have to say that whole story from the very beginning was really fishy. I'm beginning to think that it was Shani who physically attacked the kid. But even if we go by their narrative, he admitted it, she admitted it, he went to jail for it, and CPS took the kids for it. So it's not, this is not conjecture, it's not speculation, this is not rumors and gossip. Th these are things that actually happened. And the fact that you still don't have your kids back is further indication that you still don't have your shit together. Uh, baby Karen Dick, super chat. Thank you so much. Bad things happen to me when she's this mad. Uh, oh, no. CPS sent them on an extended vacation, right? Because that's what she originally called it. Uh, Krug's wifey. Thank you so much. Remember, four months. I appreciate that. This is great. About others and hurting others. And I have had enough of this fucking world. I have had a fucking enough. Oh, here we go. Because it doesn't matter how hard I try. I can't get a fucking break in life. And I want help. I need to be able to survive. If I have children, I want. You have I want my children. Yeah, you're not getting it back. You can't even bother to take a drug test to actually go visit them. And there's plenty of people offering you help. Adult Protective Services was just there because you guys wanted them there. And they gave you all kinds of resources and instead you get mad because they won't basically treat you like children. I would not let me type anything, but I'm glad, so glad I found you. I look forward to every stream. Thank you, I'm sorry, I don't know why I wouldn't let you. Um, Type something. Uh, if you just tag my name, burnt toast is one word, I'll read your stuff. So you, you don't have to give me money. Is it going to play? Oh, did she, did she skip again? See, this is what I'm talking about. I have a... I hate this. Pathetic people out there. Hold on one second. Let me go back a little bit. So she must have. Well, for not caring. Maybe I'm pissed off because the people who should be helping me and taking care of me, the people who's, who are court ordered to take care of me, haven't done it yet. The people who are court ordered to take care of you? Uh, oh, oh, what? what? <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. 
um, 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 and everything and whatnot. Shani, you were not a child. No, nobody is court ordered to take care of you. The fucking audacity for someone to say that. For her to say that. Girl, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Just when you think she can't stoop any lower. Six Up Media, thank you. Remember for two months, love Mondays, cuz toast. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Rotten Ralph. Remember for nine months. Wow. Wow, nobody's court ordered to take care of you, Shani. Dang, Todd. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. He just gifted 20 memberships. Congratulations to those who got membership. Thank you. I appreciate that. Poor, pitiful, mistreated, abused Shani. Now adult services won't do their job and take care of her. Yeah, adult services are not for people who refuse to get jobs. They are for people who are absolutely unable to take care of themselves. That is who that's for. Elderly people, people who are um, just completely unable to care for themselves. Uh, Shani is not one of those people. She isn't. Thank you, Taz. Uh, verbal abuse and hoarding food is abuse too. Thank you. It is. Correct. Sure is. Maybe I'm pissed off about that. That that the people who are court ordered to do something for me to help me and my family haven't done anything yet. What? The, the audacity, like I can I cannot get over that. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's because of so many fucking careless, fucking apathetic people out there. Thank you, Monique. Maybe it's months. that. Maybe it's maybe it's the whole fucking people who've got me fired from jobs. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the fact that I tried to make a living off myself. I tried to sell fucking products. I tried to sell merchandise. And they all mass reported me over bullshit. And got me to not make money. Maybe it's that. You lost your channel the last time. Because of racism, child abuse, child endangerment, and copyright strikes. That's why. You broke TOS like 20,000 times. That's why you lost your channel. You can't even stay out of trouble on Twitch. Like you've had it taken down for seven days at a time because of domestic violence, screaming the N-word, all of the usual shit that you do. Nobody's getting you fired from anything. And by the way, unless you get a W-2, it's not a job. Okay. YouTube, you're an independent contractor. It's a 1099. It's great supplemental, supplemental, sorry, supplemental income. But for those that rely on it as their sole paycheck, it's very risky because it can be gone in a day. It can be gone in a second. So me personally, no shade on anyone else. Me personally, I would never rely solely based on any kind of social media platform because it is fleeting and inconsistent. But unless you get a, a W-2, it's not a job. I'm sorry, it isn't. Maybe it's that I'm not allowed to fucking try to fucking survive in this world. Maybe it's that. You'd be pissed too if you weren't allowed to survive. And you're starving to fucking death. And you're seeing your husband starve to death. And you're begging your husband just to eat something. <laughs> but he doesn't want to eat because he wants it for me because I'm sick. And I want him to eat. Maybe it's that. <laughs> I cannot. This is Maybe so it's because I, I'm constantly getting emails from my son asking if I'm okay and him crying constantly because his mother isn't getting the help she needs. That's fucked up, Shani. Why are you involving your children in that bullshit? You need to leave them alone. They need to focus on their education, therapy, focus on getting healthy, 
and figuring out who they are as people. You should not be emotionally dumping on your children. They should not be involved in adult in any of these adult issues. Graveyard Flowers, thank you so much. Please be forgiving. Her sugar may be low because no one bought her a sandwich. Wow. That's hilarious. I know the feeling I prefer to use the career I went to college to obtain, relying on something as unpredictable as e-fame is insane to me. Yeah, considering the fact that, like, if your goal is to be e-famous, it's probably not going to happen. You're more likely to get struck by lightning. I'm just saying. <laughs> Very few people become, um, you know, in that top echelon of, of YouTube fame, I guess. Maybe it's that! Welcome, Andrea. Welcome to Dumpster Spark. Imagine if she put this much effort into applying for a job that she does making these streams, screaming and yelling. Maybe it's that! Maybe it's because my whole life has been blown fucking apart since 2020 because of goddamn COVID! Maybe it's that! Wow. And then you get blamed for it! It's, it, okay. Wow, first she said that didn't exist. Then she said it did exist. And now she's blaming all of her life's problems on it. Mm, I love it. Or get hit by cars by Jamie. <laughs> like Jamie and yeah, for reals. Uh, I can't read her chat. Are people on her case? Um, it's mixed bag. Some people are laughing. Some people are saying you are not disabled. Some people are saying um, get a job. Some people are at, like telling her is rev surfing <laughs> is rev surfing and Thai. uh somebody says uh those evil trolls it's 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 like the wild west in her chat for reals you get blamed for what the fucking government did to people it's the government's fault guys <laughs> maybe it's that <laughs> Why would anyone be upset when their whole life is falling apart and you're fucking dying and there's nothing you can do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the rest of us don't have a shit life because of, of that. But anyway, uh, do go on. Uh, Jax, member for two months. Thank you so much. He's a professional at blaming everyone, everything. Yep. Everything on everything. J uh, Dubs, JW Designs, member for 11 months. Thank you so much. Everything and everyone's fault but her own. Correct. <laughs> How is COVID her fault? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. BBJ is not a fan of salad. <laughs> a member for three months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all's names are hilarious. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm always in fucking horrible pain. Maybe it's that. And I have no me I have no way to get to the doctors when I need to. Maybe it's that. Maybe. Maybe it's that you need a little bit of fucking empathy. A little bit of compassion. And the whole world just like. Ha ha. Well, that's kind of what you did for three years, right? Okay. I'm sorry, Wilson. $2 super chat. No tears, Shani. It's a waste of good suffering. I have to agree. Yeah. I would have to agree. Ha ha. Ha ha. You deserve this. You deserve this. Starve. Die. Suffer! No, I mean, most of the people are just saying, hey, can you get a job? That's what CPS is asking you to do, is to do something, get on disability, get a job, go to the doctor. You know, like, everybody is pretty much saying the same thing. Get a job. Get a job. And you won't do it. That's what I get. That's what I get. I don't believe in humanity. I don't believe humanitarianism even exists anymore. 
Medicaid offers free rides to doctors and EBTs accepted for online shopping. I know from my sister who was on it for a while. Melissa, shh. <laughs> Don't tell her. No, but seriously, there's tons of people that have told her that. There was somebody on Twitter, I think it was the other day, that were trying to tell her that she could do Instacart and that Instacart accepts EBT as well. Will she do it? No. There's always an excuse why she's the victim and nothing's ever going to be accomplished or solved because she would much rather sit and scream and yell and throw a fit, hoping that somebody will come along, feel sorry for her and just give her a Subway sandwich. That's what she's looking for because that's what she's used to. <laughs> the mud rucker. Yes, Shani, you do deserve this. Karma is a bitch. Uh, fix your life, Shani. People are telling you to get it together. They are helping you. Yes. The thing is, is she doesn't see that as helping. Like if you tell her to get a job and take a drug test and go visit her kids and get her life together and, you know, lose some weight, she will view you as abusive because she, her mind is fucked. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in the, uh, your fellow man bullshit. I don't believe in that anymore. Is this from today? Uh, this is live right now. This is her live right now. <laughs> Cause all I see is people doing nothing but hurting others and laughing about it like fucking demons. Maybe it's because I need help. And I'm not getting it. I need help. Yeah, exactly, Otto. This is all a grift. She doesn't want to actually be a responsible adult or even a somewhat responsible adult. So she just wants to get people to, to give her money. Let's pop in one and any super chat. Shani deserves all the fiends and stuff that she does. All the stuff and things. Things and stuff. Maybe it's because you you talk to authorities over and over again about the issues you're going through and they just don't do fucking shit to help you. <laughs> yeah, this is sad fishing. And you're For all sure. ableists. You're all fucking ableists. Because I'm, I'm literally fucking disabled. No, I not. can't walk. That's not true. That's not true. You told us a story, what, last week? You literally jumped out of bed, ran across the room, ran outside, and according to you, physically got in between two men who were fighting. And you, you stopped a fight. Now, all of a sudden, you can't walk again? And next week, it'll be some other thing that you jump out of bed and run out of the room for. And then you're not disabled, but then you'll be disabled again. See, that's that's not how this works. Also, please know, Shani, that a lot of people that are calling you out are actually legitimately disabled. And they feel some type of way when they see somebody lying about disa being disabled just to grift money off the Internet. And all I get is I'm lazy. Oh, I wish I was fucking lazy. <laughs> you are. I wish I was lazy. I wish I could just lie down and not give a fuck and just lie around all day and not give a fuck and work to try to do something about my life. I wish. I wish I could walk. Um, That's kind of what you do is you just sit around and complain all day. Um, so she begged for help, then when help, came, then when help came and didn't help them like they wanted, she blamed all of us for sending APS. Now she is begging for help again. That's correct. For some reason, she had this delusional thought that APS was going to just show up, give them a, a, a wad of cash, or put them in some, I don't know, daycare for people who don't want to work. And she was never going to be required to do things like take a shower, um, <laughs> you know, basic things to be an adult. It, it's This is mind-blowing to me. Shell Bell, thank you so much. Every time Shamu has a meltdown, an angel gets its wings. Wow. It's pretty funny. I wish I could walk, because if I walked, I could be able to get a proper fucking job! And how fucked up is that? How many people cannot walk and yet they still have a great job? Ableist, Shani, telling everybody else that they're ableist. There's a lot of people who cannot walk, 
who have awesome lives. They've, they've accomplished things. They're educated. They have jobs. They have normal lives just like everybody else. You don't have to be able to walk in order to have a happy life, Shani. But please do go on. I'd go back to the medical industry. So I'll go back to... being a fucking house manager and helping people again. She never did any of those as a job, by the way. She's lying. I wish I could fucking do that! I, I wish I could do that, but I can't. I fucking can't. You don't want to. And, all, and then I hear all these fucking people. All these fucking people. That would be me. Going around. What? What are we saying, Shani? Uh, what are we saying? I'm just so fucking sick of it. Hmm? I'm so fucking sick of it. And Jesus Christ, I need help. I need help, Lord. I need fucking help. Um, I'm in a long-term mental health facility and she disgusts me. I'm sick and I see real sickness every day. Getting help requires genuinely looking for it. She just some fat loser grifter. I agree. Um, I transport disabled people to work and school every day. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people that are very upset with her right now because she is using quote unquote disability as an excuse for her abusing the children, um, not taking care of herself and wanting to grift off the internet. And yeah, that's, it's not a good look, Shani. Okay. It's not. I need fucking help in this fucking world. <laughs> Cause I can't do it anymore. You have these stupid little bitches being like, well, I have fibromyalgia, and I have osteoarthritis, and I have stage four cancer, or whatever they try to make up. And be like, I work. Well, gee, I was working. No, you weren't. Mr. Unite for the chill win. Thank you so much. Stephen Hawking was much more disabled than her. That is a good point. Creatively insane. Hey, Shani, I'm disabled, have cancer and heart at 25%. And I take care of my family and entitlements. Yep. 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 Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. I was working pretty goddamn hard. But there comes a point when you have osteoarthritis, when the arthritis gets so bad that you can't lift people anymore. You can't walk anymore. Okay, that, okay, first of all, her last job, guys, was back in 2017. That's the last time she worked an actual job. She got fired after, I think, a month. Her parents said that she could not hold a job for more than, like, a month, maybe two months. She's never had a long-term position anywhere in any capacity. She was fired because her job was basically a janitor. She was to stay overnight at a, like a group home and make sure that the floors were mopped and the phones were answered and she was supposed to sit at a desk and if there was like a toilet that needed to be unclogged, that's what she was basically on call doing that. She was not a healthcare worker. She did not work in healthcare. The girl only has like 11th grade education. Okay, let's just be real. She got caught streaming on YouTube during that job because she couldn't even sit at a desk and stare at a book or something. She couldn't even do that. So she got fired from that job. That was the last job that she got. Uh, what's popping? Thank you so much. Is the motel rent due? I can't wait for them to live in a car. Here's Dave's, a Dave's single on me. <laughs> I don't know anything about the motel. I know they're still there. I don't know who's paying for it. I suspect it is the, um, the uncle that's paying for it. And I see your ableism. I see your ableism. And it's just as bad as racism. It's just as bad. Oh. Even worse in a oh, lot of ways. Really? Because the disabled are always put down. The disabled are always made fun of. The disabled are always fucking pushed away from society and not taken care of. Wow. That's what I know. We're treated differently. 
We're treated differently. The disabled are treated differently. And we're expected to maintain a level of functioning that healthy people can do. And you can't. By the way, one of the things that CPS asked her to do, because when she told them, oh, I can't work because I'm disabled, they told her to go to the doctor and get diagnosed with whatever it is she's claiming to have. She was not diagnosed with anything. And she knows this, which is why she's not filling out any of the disabled, like the, the paperwork that's required to get um, disability. It's because she's not diagnosed with anything. Okay, that's why. You can't! I worked my ass off through fucking pain for fucking years till the point is I couldn't even fucking bend my goddamn knees! I couldn't even bend my fucking knees! Craig, thank you so much. Shani's idea if starving to death is having to miss an hour or two between meals. If she's actually starving, maybe she should visit a food bank. Great point. There are people that have, have actually offered to give her rides, even though they weren't within walking distance of where they used to be. They turn it down. There's all kinds of charities, ministries, uh, agencies that have offered help. They refuse. Just like today, Rev posted a video. What is he asking for? Oh, we want to eat at Subway tonight for dinner. They don't want actual food. They want fast food. That's why they won't go to a food bank. Future, future dead camper. Remember for two months. Thank you. Stay, stay hangry, bitch. Love you, Toasty. Thank you. Is this her streaming right now? Uh, yep, sure is. Now the arthritis is in my back and take it over that. And that's painful as fucking shit. She won't do Meals on Wheels either. They won't do any of that. There's always an excuse. But I get made fun of that. I get called lazy for that. I get called lazy for that. There's no hope in this world. There's no humanity left in any of any of you left. It's all hatred. It's all selfishness. It's all blind following from liars who don't even know me. Were there any details to the APS meeting? Uh, all I know is that they begged and begged and begged for people to call them. Uh, apparently somebody eventually called. APS showed up and they were expecting APS to just like give them cash or fast food. I, I don't know really what they were expecting. And when APS was like, hey, that's not really what we do. We help people, adults who are incapable of caring for themselves um, and instead gave them resources for food banks, homeless shelters, um, all kinds of organizations that could help them get back on their feet. They get pissed off. And so she's throwing a tantrum. APS is Adult Protective Services. That's what it is. Prove me wrong. I bet you won't. I bet you can't say one goddamn nice thing to me. I bet you can't. It's all lies and conjecture with you guys. All assumptions. Conjecture isn't the truth. Assumptions aren't the truth. Just because you believe it doesn't mean it's the fucking truth. But yet you do. Like naive fucking gullible fools. Walking around. Blindly following people. <laughs> Blindly. Yato, the petty god. Thank you so much. I want a Mexican pizza. What's APS number? <laughs> right? I mean, if that's how it works, why do we even work a job? Dang, man. I'm going to call them and be like, yo, can I get it some tacos? Can I get some, some spring rolls? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> I don't care. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming. And all of you are going to be guilty. All of you are going through. You're not exposing me 
at the end of the day, you're exposing yourselves to mankind and to God. God sees the contents of your heart. God <clears throat> sees that you want to make people miserable so you can make fucking money. Our Aswell, thank you so much. Uh, too disabled to work, but not too disabled to take care of two kids. One who has special needs, question mark. A uh, great question. That's a great point. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I am judging her exactly the way that I would hope to be judged. If I ever, ever abused my children, I would hope that someone would call my ass out. I would deserve to go to jail because that shit's not cool. So I don't even hear this shit, Shani. Oh, you're not supposed to. No, no, no. That's not what it says. You judge how you want to be judged. And I absolutely want to be judged just like this. Because if I was a lazy bum who was choosing dick and attention over my children, yeah, I would deserve to have streams made about me too, sweetheart. Mr. Unite for the chill wind. Yato the petty god, I can call the police and have them drive you to a pizza place if you want. <laughs> um, Dewin, I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I mispronounce it. Uh, can't, could her pain be from a lack of sedation? Uh, she lies a lot about her pain levels. I mean, those of you who've had severe pain know that when you are at like a level 10 pain, you're not streaming on Twitch and rocking back and forth and acting like this. I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's not how pain works. God sees that you want to make people miserable so you can make fucking money. God sees that. Every day, he sees that. Whatever you do to the least of these, you do unto me. That's what Jesus said. Whatever you do unto the least of these, you do unto me. And you care, you want to go and say you're a fucking Christian while you're attacking people who are fucking poor and going through hell? Is that Christ-like, Carrie? Is that Christ-like? Oop, calling Carrie out. Is that Christ-like? <laughs> I'm asking for water, Carrie. I'm asking for water. Will you give me something to drink? You can go to the office and get yourself a damn drink yourself. How about that? Why does somebody on the internet have to take care of you as a grown-ass adult, almost 40 years old? You should be ashamed of yourself. Get off your ass, pretend like somebody's fighting in the parking lot, and you want to brag about it later on Twitch, and walk down to the office and get the free bottled water that they're giving people. Bet you won't. Bet you have no faith in Jesus to do that. Bet you have no faith in Jesus for that. But I'm but. pretty sure you lied about <laughs> your faith. Because you don't act like someone who actually cares about others. <laughs> you act like a selfish little teenager. Thank you, Johnny. You think it's okay to laugh at people who are struggling? You think it's okay for people who are suffering? Yeah, I don't I don't apologize for laughing at racist child abusers. Sorry. From a crippling fucking disease. Called stupidity. You think it's funny. And it then you go funny. around and you call someone. It's very funny. Who has a crippling disease? <laughs> Lazy. Liabetes is not a disability. And you justify it. See, you justify your hate because you enjoy it. There's no reason for anyone to hate me. I've done nothing to any one of you. People who want to lie about it, of course, and say you did. Oh, I like talk to the audience. Does it look like it? You know why I don't talk to the audience? It's pretty easy. You could just read the fucking chat. Why should I respond to that shit? God forbid somebody telling you to go to a food bank. The horror. That's so abusive, Shani. Oh. I'm sorry, Wilson. Those unwilling to work shall not be allowed to eat. Thessalonians 310. Hmm. Yep. Why should I respond to that shit? Why should I even look at that shit and that hatred and that apathy 
and that complete disrespect and disregard and dehumanizing of a human being. Why should I even respond to your dehumanizing? Why should I even dis respond to your hatred, to your judgment, to your lies, to your offenses? No, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to... I'm not. It is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just fat? Do you see how fucking baggy this is <laughs> on me? I'm just fucking fat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know why, but when she pulled her up, I'm just fucking fat. I, I had that picture in my head of, um, what is it? Austin Powers? Um, no, not Austin Powers. Um, is it Chris? I don't know what that guy's name is, but he's like, fat guy in little coat. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, that just ran through my head. Daddy Patch. Daddy Petty Patch Adams. Thank you so much. Bottom line, at the end of the day, Scammy is poor. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Tommy boy, thank you. I knew somebody would get it. Chris Farley, thank you. Had a brain fart there. Telling people they don't deserve respect. That's on you, not me. That's your reflection of yourself. Maybe you're saying you, you don't deserve respect. You earn respect, bitch. You earn it. Be poor. You are fat. Wow. Fat, fat, fat. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a super chat, folks. Somebody grab it. <laughs> wow. I don't know who you are. Stop lying. <laughs> what if Shani starved and she got hot? She'd still be a piece of shit. Of course you lose weight. When you starve, you lose weight. Well, if you're losing all of this weight, Shani, then there's less of you to be walking around. So explain that. So either you're you're so fat that you can't get out of bed, or you've lost a ton of weight and you can get out of bed and start working. Which is it? When you're eating less than 500 calories, you know, every couple days, every few days, whenever you try to get something, <laughs> oh, it's total BS. Okay, bud, babe. If you're going to continue to fucking lie like that, you're just blocked. Oop. I'm not going to fucking deal with you. You're banned on my fucking channel. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> You know, I'm not going to put up with your fucking bullshit. You know, you would think if I said that about you, I would continue to say it about you. <laughs> you know, I wonder fucking why. Because I never said that to you because I don't even know who the fuck you are. You fucking weirdo. Creatively insane. I pity the neighbors also who had who can rant that long. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine being next door to her if, like, you had a kid? Oh, my God. I don't know who you are, and I don't care to care who the fuck you are. I don't give a fuck about liars. Katie, remember for three months? My eyes are rolling so much it hurts, right? Yep. I didn't blow his money on fucking drugs. What you laugh about being banned, stupid? And continue to fucking lie about your shit. I'm done with your stupid, like, I have this, and I have this, and I have this, and I still work. No, I kind of doubt that someone with cardiomyopathy, definitive Dick's disease bones, bone spurs, bipolar, what? general anxiety, and had surgery last week actually fucking worked. You fucking lying piece of shit. Wow. 
Platty, thank you so much. The video game noises make it even better, right? <laughs> that's on her end. So that's, yeah, it's, it's really funny. The doctors wouldn't even let you. <laughs> now get off my chat. Dick, see, that's what I thought she said, dick disease. And I was like, wow, what's that? Definitive dick disease. Is that a new, new thing for the wheel of maladies? <laughs> Don't lie to me about how sick you are when I'm actually sick. And look at that. You already got one fucking ban on you. So it looks like you are a fucking troll. Yeah, I wonder why someone blocked you. I wonder why someone banned you. I know why. I know why. And you're banned, too, for lying about me. No, Melissa, she was reading somebody else's chat. Somebody else in her chat was saying, hey, I just had surgery and I'm still going to go to work next week. So she was reading somebody else. I don't care. I'm done with people fucking lying to me. She's and lying about me. She's arguing with people in the chat. out there. And, and in situation. She's throwing a tantrum and then now she's arguing with people in the chat. And then people are believing it without even fucking talking to me about it. <laughs> Bless her crinkle heart. <laughs> Carrie is Carrie is a fraud. She was sweet to me until she got what she wanted. Her internet sucks, by the way. I don't give a fuck about this chick. I wish I, I don't want to know she exists. I don't want to know she exists. So if you mention her in my chat, I'm blocking you. Period. I'm blocking you. It's all good, Melissa. I'm blocking. Uh, isolationist, thank you so much. Um, PA Food Banks Delivery um, Transportation Services. Okay, I didn't know that. So apparently in PA, food banks do delivery. Wow. Another excuse blown out of the water. Blocking you. Oh, look, a possible ban invader. Well, you know what? If invader. you're a ban invader, you're going to be fucking blocked. Seriously. <laughs> Are we close to a shanty smash? Oh, Maybe. Look, person, I have degenerative <laughs> disc disease, sciatic, anxiety, neuropathy, high blood pressure. I ask no one for nothing. Okay. <laughs> I don't have diagnoses? How the fuck do you know? Where's your fucking proof on that, liar? Block. <laughs> oh, and you're automatically blocked, Wilson, because I can't fucking stand your ass. Oop, Wilson. You lying piece of shit. You lying piece Stalker. Wilson's a stalker. Stalker. <laughs> How dare you comment stalker. in a chat? Commenting in chats means you're a stalker. 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 <laughs> You're a stalker. She's caught on a loop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> KW1. You're going to claim someone's diagnosis aren't real? That's hella rich. Yeah, I know. They broke Shanny. <laughs> I'm not dealing with stupid people. I'm really not. I'm not dealing with stupid people tonight. I don't. I am. I am hungry. I am PMS and really fucking bad. Oh, for fuck's I sake. do not hate my kids. I love my sons with everything in me. Then why did you hoard food and deny them when they asked you for it? Answer that question. While you continue to gain more and more weight, your children continue to lose more and more weight because you were hoarding the fucking food next to your bed. That is not love. She don't got no truth about me. Fuck you. Get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> no, I'm not the common denominator. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not a whole bunch of people bullying one person. Uh, 
I am too, Platty. Yep. Platform boots. Yep. Me too. Oh, God. It's the same fucking people all the goddamn time. You're welcome. Saying one thing. You know what? Fuck you two. And you using my name. Go away. <laughs> Shandy for life. Using her name. How dare you? And then you make fun about how I look. There can be only one Shanny. And then you make fun about how I look. You make fun of how someone looks. And you think you're a wonderful person. You think you're a wonderful person. Shanny for life is evil. Just like these lecture. No proof. Like, you say all these things, but you show no evidence. You show. Platty, thank you so much. Didn't her son fail all his classes? Um, not sure about that. I just know that CPS said that they were uh, severely behind, especially the younger one um, had fallen behind considerably. So there's that. She wouldn't let them go to school. She was claiming they were doing public school at home online, but they weren't actually doing school, especially the younger one. Show no evidence. You show no Their shitty internet again. None. No evidence. None. No evidence. None. No evidence. None. <laughs> I see you blank screen in her chat. <laughs> He's no like, evidence. Burnt toast owns you. My arthritis is bad because I'm overweight. No. My arthritis is bad is because I lifted people for years. In Not true. In the medical business. Not true. Do you get that? She never did that. I was taking care of people for years. No, she wasn't. AIDS. She was never that. And actually, if you go to the doctor and tell them that you have arthritis, um, osteoarthritis, and they look at you when you're 600 pounds, one of the first things they're going to tell you is if you lose some weight, there's less pressure on those joints. And then also if you uh, stay active and not sit around and sit on your legs on a bed all day, you will also have less pain. The last thing you want to do <clears throat> if you have arthritis is to sit in a chair and not move 24 hours a day. Mari Me, member for three months. Thank you so much. I'm not asking for money because frankly, no, no one will fucking give me any. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Nobody will give me money. <laughs> oh my God. No one cares enough in this fucking world. Guys, it's time to pull out your violins. Violins in the chat. Missing in life. Thank you so much for being a member for, for nine months. Violins in the chat for Shani. <laughs> no one fucking cares enough in this fucking world. No one fucking cares. I love how there's no tears. And her nose isn't red. And her voice doesn't sound like she's crying. I love that. It's my favorite part. I haven't heard any bridges. I haven't heard anything to anyone. Oh, her internet sucks. How dismissive of you. How dismissive of you. 
How dismissive of you. How invalidating. <laughs> I make... F oh, but G said... G says a fucking lie. G-Man said that he... If, if, if a transsexual ever fucking came to him, he would fucking uh, take a baseball bat to them. And that's the person's word you trust? You trust a man who would literally take a baseball bat to a trans person. Well, I mean, you uh, bullied and tortured your youngest brother when he came out as gay. So, in my opinion, y'all are both a piece of shit. That's who you fucking trust. Don't. Don't even with me and him. You want to trust a man? You want to trust a man who said he'd take a baseball back to a trans person? Fine. Fine. Enable the fucking lying piece of shit who's lied about every fucking person out there, but yet now he's telling the truth. All the crying because no one will buy her Subway, right? All of this. Because nobody will buy her fucking Subway for dinner. This is hilarious. Fuck off. How about you go back and watch all the fucking videos of all the other people you like to watch and see all the cruel, insane fucking things they say about other people. And then you come to me because I react to their fucking evil and say that I'm the bad person? Eat my fucking bitch. So glad it skipped when she said that. Eat my fucking cooch. Ew. Wash that shit first. Yeah, Are go you ahead. That man just go the fucking evangelist who wants to fucking hit fucking trans oh girl just go to a car wash like just pay your five bucks or whatever get the deluxe package and just get it done okay over the head that's a transphobic that's the homophobic that's a person who hates you because you're an atheist go ahead you're dumb <laughs> you're dumb you're fucking done dumb as fuck <laughs> you're vetting someone who is a transphobic homophobic who hates everyone are you talking about you here because i'm getting kind of confused pretty sure you're talking about yourself <laughs> purple mood that's who you're vetting that's who you're vetting that's who you're vetting. vetting. That's who you are vetting. Um, let's see. Uh, what's popping? Thank you so much. I thought they got salmonella from Subway. I, I, I'm sorry. I got to say it just like she did. Salmonella. Manelli. Something like that. That's how she said it. Right? Apparently they want more. <laughs> and you're an ableist. You're an ableist. Yes, I am a sweet and loving person <laughs> who has been taken advantage of, and I am sick of being taken advantage of. Why? You see someone angry who's been fucking stabbed in the back and lied about? <laughs> oh, no. She's I can't a, smack at that. So she's a sweet and loving person. Get the fuck out of here. supposed to be like you fucking oh, and gosh. have no feelings at all, right? Because shaming people for having feelings is, is what narcissists like to fucking do. You steal her joy. <laughs> Good for you that your dogs are fed. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so happy that your dogs are fed. Good for you. Her internet. Good for you. Why Her internet skips because it's shitty. Why'd you have to mention that? Huh? You like seeing people hungry? You like it? It makes you joy. It gets you off, doesn't it, you psychopath? <laughs> I never prayed for your kids. How do you know? 
How do you know? Because I I I I, I f- made a video for Amber Lynn and just prayed for her. So it's I never fucking pray. You know you can have multiple prayers throughout the day, and I don't pray for my children in front of you fucking people. Uh, Jason's in the background, probably shielding from her inevitable fist. Idiot. I am not always yelling and upset. <laughs> that is a lie. She's totally not doing that right now. Well, you're asking what my fucking PayPal is. You're asking what the where what where I can send money. It's on the fucking screen. <laughs> Do you not see? Please support PayPal at Shani Needs Love. Do you not see that? <laughs> Acting like, oh, I'm not gonna give you any money. I know you aren't. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm definitely changing the title and the thumbnail because we're staying on this. This is fucking hilarious. I've been played this so many times. Oh, I'm going to give you money. So I give my account over. And then you're like, oops, I get no money. <laughs> I'm not asking for money. You just asked for money. I'm not asking for money. You literally just asked for people to donate so that you could have Subway for dinner. Uh, oh, oh, my God. She, she just can't stop lying. And thank you. All. Thank you. I'm, I don't trust people anymore. I don't. I see y'all in the chat. Y'all are so bad. I don't. <laughs> What's up, Miss Parker? This is amazing, right? I've been stabbed in the back so many fucking times in my life that it's just like, fuck everyone. Bring the violins out, guys. Bring the violins. She's doing it again. Good. You know, you think people actually fucking care. Just fucking take that. Oh, is she gonna twist it? Oh, I want her to paint the computer so bad. <laughs> A wambulance. Brick with eyes, $2 super chat, $5 Salma Nella. I just want to be able to live. <laughs> Thank you. I want to be able to live. Oh no, she's dying again, guys. Start the countdown. Shani for life. Gotta start another one. I feel like George Bailey in, in, in it. What? It's a wonderful life. What? <laughs> wow, okay. I want to live again. <laughs> I want to be able to walk. And go down a trail in the woods and see the leaves. I You've never actually done that ever in your whole life. I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to go to fucking New York and walk the streets. I want to be able to do that. And see, even now she can't even be honest. She has to, like, pretend to be somebody from a movie instead of being real. Th this is why I can't fucking take her seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All I do is hobble <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> she said hobble. My ankles are fucked. My knees are fucked. My hips are fucked. Your brain is fucked. We get it. And I can't feel my goddamn feet because of the neuropathy. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's probably diabetes. Shell Bell, thank you so much. This is delicious. Oh, it's... It is so salty, guys. We're about to have a stroke. Love it. Which makes walking way tougher than what it should be. It's way tougher. Way, way tougher. Her stomach isn't fucked, right? <laughs> right, Blink Screen? She has no problem with her stomach, guys. My okay. life is destroyed, and it gets destroyed. Left. I get told I deserve it. When I literally gave a man a fucking house and food to eat and everything I fucking owned. 
Excuse, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, whose money was that? Was that yours? Oh, wait, that was not yours. That was your boyfriend's mommy's money. Wasn't even her house. He has every. Oh. Ew. Girl, blow your I nose. I get called the liar when he's known for fucking doing nothing but lying about people. Oh, look at her. Hi. Okay, so let me get this straight, Shani. Um, your legs are so much in pain. You're sitting there sitting on your knees right now. Okay, sure. All right. Okay. Support transphobe. Support the homophobe. Support racist. Well, that's why no one's supporting you. Uh, Baby Jane, thank you so much. This is Comedy Gold. Starve the whale. Yeah. Support it. Go support the fake evangelist. Again, describing yourself. Fit and Kirby, thank you so much. The tears of a bigoted, vile, abusive, racist, P.O. shit brings me joy. Happy freaking Monday, folks. Thank you, Fit and Kirby. Yes, what a surprise this has become. With his fake fucking friends. Oh, did her internet go out again? Oh, did it go out? Maybe I'll skip forward. That little noise that you're hearing is her. I think it's her internet coming in and out. Okay, hold on. That I'm telling the truth. Hi. Okay, there we go. Support transphobe. Support the homophobe. Support racist. Support it. Go support the fake evangelist. <laughs> Her internet is clogged, much like her arteries. <laughs> That's really funny, lovely. Oh, y'all are y'all are so funny. With his fake fucking friends. Ah. Yeah, I wonder if her USB. There's there's something going on with her computer. See, she keeps getting kicked off. There we go. Let's get forward again. What's up, the glare? And that's all that matters, is God knows all this. God knows my pain. God knows my hurt. Oh, no. God knows my suffering. God also knows about the abuse of the children, Channy. That, too. Don't forget about that. God knows. God knows. Jesus said that when you were persecuted for righteousness be glad and joyful yeah that's not what persecution means by the way you refusing to work therefore you're having to beg on the internet that's not what persecution is by the way our Azrael, thank you so much ha huh? and here i remember her claiming her boyfriend was dropping the f word around her purposely or her purposely gay son yeah yeah, you, you like how she just switches it back and forth, right? So homophobia from her boyfriend is perfectly a-okay, but from G-Man, it was okay until he turned on her. Now it's not okay. Don't you like how that works? Yeah. For the riches of heaven are in are yours. That's what she says. That's what I'm waiting for is riches in heaven now. Because I don't have in this world. I have no faith in this world. It's like the days of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> yeah, Todd's in her chat, like, spamming it. Go to the food bank. But she won't do it. <laughs> She'll probably end up banning him. How dare you abuse me by telling me to go to a food bank? Guys, I know Todd. The love of many has waxed cold. It's wax worse than worse. And no one respects people. No one. <laughs> no one loves someone enough to help them when they're in need. No one gives their enemy a... This is her church lady spiel. A glass of water. A glass of water. No one does. No one. 
No one does. No one does. I don't know. <laughs> it has been torn apart since the day I was born. I was never allowed to be happy. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. She's probably going to start talking about how evil her parents are. How dare her parents tell her that at 13 she can't sneak out of the house to get drunk with boys. Oh, the horror. When I was a little girl. Here we go. Here Whenever we, I here we go. displayed any kind of joy, my mom's a narcissist, so... <laughs> I get slapped, right. and that happiness was taken away. They would steal her joy. God, she's so predictable. Raped from me. Yeah, okay. So she also claims to have been graped. Uh, that is also not true. She literally accuses everybody, cops, every time she's arrested, ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends, uh, I can guarantee you that when her and Rev, if they were to ever break up, she's going to accuse Rev of the same thing. I mean, she even before she was even um, meeting G-Man in person, she had already accused G-Man of that, too. And then she started having my dad hit me. Oh, that's a new lie. Okay. <laughs> And he would just listen to her like that. Hmm. I'm waiting for her to mention the dislocation of the shoulder story. That's rich. He didn't even tell her, no, I'm not going to do this to my child. He just would do it for her. Right. Okay. He would do it for her. And then I went from one abusive relationship after another because that's all I ever fucking know. Right, right. Hmm. <gasps> Accusing people is her love language. <laughs> Apparently so. Kindness is so rare to find. Like actual, genuine kindness. It does not exist in this world, really. It's a goddamn miracle that it actually happens sometimes. A goddamn <laughs> miracle. Accusing is her foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like 2020, Shani, when she would have these streams. Okay accusing her parents and then later she'll start accusing her siblings of stuff too i mean it's the same bullshit over and over again and i can't get unstuck and i want to get unstuck so fucking bad <laughs> slapping is her climax <laughs> Ben curvy i want to get stuck unstuck so Fucking bad. I need love. I need compassion. I need empathy. I need who care, who genuinely fucking care and not backstab me. Just so you can give it to someone else and just dream me like shit again. Just as a reminder, about, <clears throat> I think it was about a month ago, she was singing her parents' praises about how great her dad was, and he was like her best friend, and he was just like the best dad ever. And now when it she needs it to be the opposite, this is what she says about him. It's disgusting. I've been ruined. I've been ruined. Like all those times, all those times, you see someone hurting, just a stranger. This is what I do. This is what I've always done. I've always, I've always put empathy and compassion over anything else. 
Hey, welcome, Casey. Uh, basically, this is a narcissist who's also beyond histrionic. She's mad because uh, she's too lazy to get a job. So she e-begs on the internet. And because they begged for Subway dinner tonight and nobody gave them anything, she's throwing a tantrum and making up a bunch of lies about her dead parents. I'm pretty sure that's that should get you caught up. And I see someone crying or someone who looks like they're having a bad day. And I just try to just do something for them a smile a, a little conversation a little boost of confidence like oh wow i love your shoes or you have an amazing purse something like that <laughs> what is she talking about she doesn't ever leave that a motel room yato the petty god thank you so much got home from work had a shot drinking a beer a new pack of smokes rolling some sticky icky and gonna make some fish tonight get a job shanny Yes, Shani, get a job. Shani only understands words like empathy and compassion in relation to how they benefit her. Correct. So in her mind, kindness is giving her free food and money, but specifically junk food. How dare you? How dare you suggest that she go to a food bank? If you tell her to go to a food bank, now you're being abusive. And it brings smiles to their faces. Like, why can't people be like that anymore? Why can't people be like that anymore? Like, I come from an age... Oh, here we go. ...care of each other. Someone lost their job. Neighbors would come and help someone and build them up or give them a job or something. That's how the 90s were. <laughs> Next, she'll be going into, there was no racism in the 90s. People helped each other. Okay, girl. Nowadays, it's eat or be eaten. Nowadays, it's just pain. It, it's just hatred. It's just making fun of people and 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 and, and trying to analyze if they're evil or not and and pick someone fucking apart. Translation: How dare you expose her child abuse? You evil, evil atheist. Like. Seriously, there's no difference between the, the behaviors of Christians and atheists. They are the same fucking people. I've lost faith in Christians, frankly. Most of all, I've lost faith in Christians. The church is falling completely. <laughs> it's falling completely. The 90s won't claim her. <laughs> and that breaks my heart. Not for myself, but for Jesus. Because it's like he died for nothing. He, he died and sacrificed himself so you little spoiled fucking brats can just abuse his grace and mercy. So, um, if you're new to Shani, every time she mentions something from the Bible, just know that she thinks that she is an actual archangel, right? So when she talks about God is mad about this or God is upset about that, she's talking about herself here. So just let you know that. That's what I see Christians as. People who abuse his grace and mercy. She's like a cult leader. While hating on their fellow man and not even following what Jesus Christ said, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. Which which is pretty simple concept. If they're hungry, feed them. If they're if they're thirsty, give them water. If they need clothes, you give them your coat and your second coat. These are the words of Jesus Christ, and I see no one practicing it anymore. I mean, as much as G-Man is an absolute POS, he did all of those things for you. He bought you clothes. He bought you food. He gave you a free place to stay. And what did you do? You just turned on him. 
You absolutely turned on him. It, that that should be that whole scenario should absolutely be a major red flag for anyone in the future that claims that they want to be your friend because that's what you do to everyone. Everyone. Buck melanoma, thank you so much. Eat or be eaten, pretty clear which side she's on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very true. I see no one practicing it anymore. All I see is apathy. Apathy is such great wavelengths. And 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 I know it's because in Revelation it says the dragon will overcome the saints. And I'm overcome completely. Jason must be fucking abusing you. No, I'm isolated. I don't trust anyone. I'm isolated because I choose to not be part of that. Oh, and not to put my heart at risk to break it even more than it's already been broken. So first, you say that you're isolated because you're scared for your life, and uh, you're poor and you have nowhere to go. Now you're saying you're isolated because you choose to be that way. Okay, all right. You think she ate her faith? Probably. My heart is broken. My heart is broken. But my soul, my spirit is on fire. No, that would be uh, on fire. high blood pressure. So I pray to God constantly for mercy. I pray to God for mercy. She's got that crinkle heart. <laughs> I pray to God for grace. How about get a job? I pray to God, please just give me the job treatment. <laughs> what? <laughs> I pray for other people. I pray for Amberlynn. Oh, name dropping. I know she goes through the same fucking amount of hate I do. Sometimes even worse. You know, she's crying about her cancer. And then you see on Twitch, all these fucking people. I would never feel sorry for her. She's a horrible person. While never explaining why she's oh such a horrible person. You know what? I think you hate Amberlynn because you're all homophobes. And the reason why I think oh, you're all go. homophobes and transphobes and racist and all that is mm. because y'all belong on Kiwi Farms. A, a stalker terrorist website that i can't even find access to i don't even know how you guys access it anymore wow please wow the projection in this stream it's crazy i can't access it definitely not on google chrome i can't access it i don't her racist tirade against me and my people is actually what made me start my channel by the way back in 2019 so I find this very rich. I don't know how to access it. Because the government took it down. Because you put vital harm towards human beings. You killed the woman. By the way, I wouldn't take anything she says with anything other than a giant mountain of salt. Because most of the stuff that she says is either a half truth or a whole lie. So... Don't take anything that she says as truth. Please look it up for yourself. You killed a trans woman. And now, and now, Kiwi Farms people, you're supporting an actual transphobic. I have no idea what she's talking about. An actual transphobic. I support the LGBT. I'm a mother of an LGBT son. And that's disgusting because she outed him and that was not her place to do so. He's a minor. He should get to decide when and how that happens. Um, it's another 
It's another point of contention that people have with her. And not only that, I am LGBT too. I don't believe that, but that's my opinion. Because the thing is, is that um, she bullied um, her little brother when he came out as a teenager. And then she screamed and yelled all about it on YouTube and Google Plus before that for years. And only when she realized, hmm, if I hashtag that in my bio on Twitter, maybe I'll get some extra views. Then all of a sudden she's bisexual. So y'all understand why I'm saying expert doubt on that. Thing happened to Jason, you would never see me with another goddamn man ever. I guarantee it. Because I'm not attracted to men. I'll be honest. I'm not attracted to men. She's only been with men her whole life. Two ex-husbands and our boyfriend, I'm just saying. I am attracted to women. I do fantasize about women. Oh, God. I don't want to hear what she fantasizes about. Uh, Jennifer Levine, thank you so much. Remember for three months, where's Rev? Did Shani eat him? <laughs> LOL. Uh, if you heard that one point, the boom, 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 that was him walking into the room. So he's there. He just knows to keep his mouth shut. Or he gets Men, the slap. rarely. Women, okay. You fantasize about women? Yeah. <laughs> You're my last chance to be in a heterosexual, Jason. Then why is it that you're always hitting on men, too? Not just men, but married men. Because you've done that multiple times to other creators as well, content creators. So, next, Shani, next lie. Well, not a heterosexual, but bisexual. You're my last chance. And if anything happens, I'm going straight. I don't want to be with another man. Then why did you hit on drag and his wife? <laughs> Why'd you hit on drag? Why are you hitting on G-Man? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't believe you, Shani. The very thought of another man touching my body makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> she says with her boyfriend next to her. <laughs> Jeez. I've had enough of that bullshit cheating and they're lying and they're gaslighting their abuse our asriel um asriel hey remember when she sat next to rev while he went on a racist homophobic rant against drag calling him a low-down homosexual yes i remember that and she laughed and laughed and laughed and was like yeah yeah again she's lying yeah i've had enough of that shit I have enough of that shit. Hide your wife. <laughs> Hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> Our internet's fucking up. Let me skip forward. Her internet's fucking up. There we go. I don't leave where I'm at. I don't... I go outside anymore. I'm completely horrible. Because all the people who see and the pictures Ugh. of me and my sons mixed with threats. Yeah, hide your sandwich too, right? I don't trust people. I don't believe in people. The water wolf, thank you. Humanity, I have no faith in you. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Humanity. I have no faith in love. I have no faith in trust. I'm completely and utterly. Oh. One minute. Who's at the door? One minute, honey. Don't wait. <laughs> oh, I can still hear him. Oh, wait, they muted. Let me go for a little bit. Hey. Yeah. They Hold on. Oh, she'll come on in just a second. Who the hell? He was looking for the he manager. Was for Julia. Okay. No, it wasn't the fucking cops. <laughs> for all you people wanting to put a wellness 
check on someone who's fucking venting. Venting. Are they? Yeah, it, it, it's he. It's a it's it's a sincere offer. God bless you. Yeah, I hope they can. It, this place. I is, hope you do. I if they, I need food so bad, and no, I'm not doing it to get fucking Delta A. I could care less about fucking foods. Delta Foods. Foods. You could ask Jason. I care less about it. Yeah. If somebody for real sends them a pizza, fuck you, for real. I care about it more than you do because the, my medication is, I don't have my medication, my anti-anxiety. I know you don't have your anti-anxiety. Yeah. But we haven't bought that shit in months. No. We got. But that. yet we're still blamed for it. Well, maybe that's why G-Man gave us so much of it to incriminate us. That's what know, I'm thinking. In the eyes of everybody. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I wanted a pizza for my birthday. I know. Not that fucking shit. Well, what you really were supposed to get was the quarry for PS5. Yeah, forget the kids. I wanted a pizza. I agree. You couldn't even play it anyway. No. Because that's Jeez. stupid. What is it called? The fucking... Yeah, HDMI copy. Yeah, the HDMI copyright <laughs> bullshit. Part protection, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. There's no reason to do that. He stole everything from us. He trusts <laughs> What? A homophobic, a transphobic. Now they trust G-Man. Yeah. Because it's about us, they trust G-Man. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know. Is she high? Wait until lied. he turns against you again. Not yeah, sure. he's lied about, according to them, he's lied about everything. But with HDMI copyright, I was about to ask that same thing. I don't know what that is. HDMI copyright. That's not a real thing, I don't think. Famous author Spider McGee. <laughs> Imagine demeaning yourself this way, no dignity. Nope, they have none. Absolutely none. Thus, he's telling the truth. Of course he is, right? Of course he is. It's bullshit. Yes, it is. It's defamation of character more. Yeah, yeah I think he means. Plenty of proof of that. Uh, yeah, I think he means DMCA. <laughs> but, you know, Rev. Braining is not his specialty. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Even William came out and said, they never starved us. But yet, instead of believing the son, you believe G-Man, who uh. will take a baseball bat to trans people. And here she goes, bringing her son into YouTube drama. Shani, this, this is why people, this is why people say some stuff. This is why, right here. That's who you fucking, ha you have no integrity after that. Like, it, it, you have no integrity. No integrity. Isn't that exactly, Greg? Isn't it amazing how her performance of crying disappeared when she might get food? Right? And it's amazing. Because I don't know about you guys, but after I stop crying, you know, your voice sounds kind of weird and your nose is red and your sinuses are kind of swollen, right? Your eyes are red, all that stuff, right? It's amazing how she can like a switch, turn it off and on. Isn't that great? It's almost like she was faking it. All these years, he's a liar. He's a liar. Right? Now all of a sudden, because he comes against us, he's telling the truth. It's, it's bullshit and you know it. Oh, did her internet go out again? I'll skip forward. I think her internet went out. Hold on one second. Let me check something. Yeah, it's, she's still live. I think it's her internet. Um, Azriel, she claimed G-Man bought her soda, cigarettes, and fried chicken for her B-Day, and then they fall out, and he bought her Delta 8. Yep. Yep. But also, also, but seeing any symptoms of dehydration from the water she isn't getting, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, like they're lying when they say they have no access to water. Um, the office is giving people free bottled water. So it's just kind of doing the spinnies. Let me try again. Go back to... Yeah, it's just kind of stuck like that. So I wonder if her internet went out. Shani and Rev's free teeth. <laughs> Thank you so much. TBF Crisco tears don't cause the same effects. Ah, very true. I concede. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not playing. And it started the, uh, the thing over again. Let me check. Hold on one second. Hmm. Yep, it's not working. <laughs> it just keeps spinning, so I think her internet went out. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can, like, refresh the page. This is why I hate Twitch so much. Like, I, I for real hate Twitch. Oh, she ended it. Oh, hold on. Hold on one second. She did end it. Okay, so this was the last. Let's see. Okay, so this is the last section of it, I guess, that we didn't see. Bullshit about someone. Just, and they get paid for it. You're welcome, Alice. They get paid to lie. And you're enabling liars. You're enabling slanderers. And, and you're enabling a transphobic, homophobic piece of shit. That would be you, Shane. I felt like I was imprisoned in that house. Constantly threatened by that guy. Constantly threatened. Don't speak about this. Don't say this. You better say this. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe that Shani was told how to do anything. And you all know he does it. But he's, 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 he's the good one, right? Someone who say he'd take a baseball bat to a trans head. No. Okay. Nope, he's not the good one. Neither are you. You both can be terrible. So. And and don't come around and say I supported him with that bullshit because I remember making several videos calling him a piece of shit for it. <laughs> right? Even at rock bottom, she's still smug. I would never support that bullshit. I know there's been a couple of times in my life where I have gotten violent, but I do not condone that action. Oh, just I a don't couple condone of times. violence. Oh, you don't. Okay. And 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 the times I was violent, I I I I realized I needed therapy for it, and I got therapy for it. That didn't happen either. I realized I had a fucking problem. Let's see. Like, how could I do this? Like, I'm actually, you had to, you were court mandated to go to, I will not beat up my boyfriend classes. And you complained the entire time you went. So I was a pacifist, but it's, it's, it's trauma. It's being pushed around way too many times by men. Being beat by men. She beat the men. This is opposite day, apparently. It caused a thing in my head. God, her internet's terrible. And I'm not proud of it. But I am proud of it. I got therapy before. And I haven't done it. Even though... Learning about all this amaranth stuff and her husband really did tempt me. Like, I, I, I was just like. Wow. He's okay. lucky that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, uh, usually she, well, actually all the times that she's ever been in trouble, she was the aggressor. 
She pled guilty, domestic violence, assault. She admit to, admitted to a cop on body cam footage. Like, it's so, it's so crazy that she thinks that we're stupid and don't remember all of this stuff. The Water Wolf, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. And then I have to fucking rebuke myself for that thought. Because that's just mental illness. <laughs> Yeah, Rev is probably sitting there like, bitch, you hit me last night. <laughs> but I don't I don't like I don't I don't I don't like men who who yell and scream at women. I don't I don't I don't like men who, don't who use women and, and and exploit women and objectify women. Oh, here we go. I don't like it. She gonna talk about the cops next. Watch. I was objectified and, and, in jail. And men don't like to be objectified. <laughs> men don't like being told what to do and, 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 and told to submit. Men wouldn't put up with that shit, so why should women? Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, you know? <laughs> they Googled just me. too much misogyny in this world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too much. You know, and, and, and you men, you treat sex workers like shit. You <laughs> objectify them and, and and treat them like they're they're subhuman. Here we go. You don't you don't like realize that sex workers are people too. They're people too, folks. You just need to make more money off the sex workers, huh? What? More production for the sex worker, huh? Yeah. I highly doubt G Man is going to sex workers. What is she saying? More objectification of the sex work and the dehumanization of sex workers. She's just saying buzzwords at this point. I realize I'm dealing with misogyny. Buzzword. And ableism. Buzzword. Add something else in there, Shane. I realize that. Go ahead, say it again. <laughs> Subway sandwiches are people too. And it's rampant. Misogyny is rampant through Christian culture. Buzzword. For some fucking reason. Buzzword. <laughs> if they read their fucking Bible, it, they would have to realize that it says, Husbands, love your wives. Um, in the words of G-Man, uh-huh, you're not married. That's your boyfriend. And if you need to know what fucking love is, go to 1 Corinthians 13, Christians. And, and tell me you're doing that to your wives. Bet you're not. <laughs> Bet you're commanding them to be in the kitchen and cooking and cleaning for you. That house had no business smelling like that being your brood mare so they can push out more of your demon bo babies so they can infest the world with more of your fucking pseudo Christianity what is she talking about this is insane yeah I said it to the Calvinists and to the evangelists your pseudo Christianity Oh, because now now she's being sandaled, standoff and uh, angel person again. Because if it was real faith, you'd actually love. <laughs> but you don't. It smelled like cat piss and foot fungus. Instead, you judge and. And, and and pretend you're this little angel in church and then you're out drinking and cheating on your wives. You're not married. You know how many freaking of these YouTube Christian evangelists I know that actually cheated on their wives? It's most of them.
Oh, by the way, you're wondering about G-Man's wife? <laughs> well, according to him, Cheating. Oh, don't skip that now. Who hates women. Dang it. But that's who you're supporting. A oh. man that hates women. And it had to skip. Ooh, you're right so good? Said that. You're so good. G-Man later uh, admitted that he lied about having a wife. And I don't know if I actually believe it or not, to be honest with you. I don't know. You you better think some, think a little bit harder before you sync up with the devil. You know, I saw what the devil did to me. I should have never trusted that man. Ever. I should have just told him to fuck off. That's what I should have done a long time ago. Well, you should have gotten a job. Uh, gone back and got your GED and uh, married your boyfriend instead of telling everybody that you're married when you're really not. You can start there. Oh, and um, stop abusing your kids. A long time ago. Years ago. Long time ago. I should have told him to fuck off when he did that stupid chocolate atheist bullshit. I should have. What's up, TR? If I know what I know now, I would have. Oh, her internet is terrible. I'm skip the word. Hold on. There we go. Y'all in her chat is hilarious. Somebody's like, you should cut Jason's arm off and slow roast it if you're that hungry. Bruh, y'all are crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, her internet. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to sk skip until it stops doing it. <laughs> yeah, that free Wi-Fi ain't working for. Skip, skip, skip. Good. Gosh. Like, all of this is... Oh, she's crying again. Oh, no. More tears. So let's recap. <laughs> uh, screaming about all her, like her parents, siblings, uh, CPS, then G-Man, then Amberlynn Reed, then um, who was the next person? Um, Aramaeth. And then back to G-Man. And now she's crying again when none of that worked. Okay. TR, thank you so much. Let me know when season three starts, right? I don't know. Shani's McDonald's oh. Wi-Fi. You'd think she'd start using you already, right? She should. Oh my gosh, the skipping is driving me nuts. Come on, stop skipping. That's what happens when you don't pay for your own internet, Shani. Fake crying again, see no tears. Her stream is terrible. Hold on. There's only three of them. Treat it like. She's just whining again. Yeah, Shani is 39. She just turned 39. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. And uh, Jason is. 37? I believe he's 37 or 38. Oh gosh, her internet. That may be the rest of her stream. Okay, so I'm gonna look down here. Let's see what else she got. Yeah, that's all she did. Wow, what a stream. That's crazy. Oof. 
I will definitely change the uh, <laughs> the title. I was not expecting her to go live, but that was actually pretty hilarious. And why she's upset? Actually, let me just play um, Jason's. Oh wait, let me turn that off. Yeah, so Jason did a stream earlier today begging for Subway after they claimed that Subway gives them Salma Manila. It's really quick. It's only like like a little over a minute. But this is what he posted today. Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Rev. Uh, so um, who we get? I'm just a little bit on the weak side, guys. You get what I'm saying? So um, if it would be possible for the blessed people that come around and be like, "Wow, you're hungry. Uh, I'm gonna help you." Uh, I pray that that Jesus bless you every time you help too. I really, I really pray that. Um, but um, there's the where we're near. The one thing I can get is Subway. So what I'm asking for, uh, if you could bless us, please, with uh, I think it's like twelve dollars or thirteen bucks for a sub. So do you know how many groceries you can buy for twelve or thirteen dollars? If it since it's just the two of them, they don't even have the kids anymore. They could literally go to a actual grocery store and use that money with EBT, whatever they had left on that, and get an entire month's worth of groceries. Because they have they get EBT as well, so it's not like they don't have some kind of something to get food. But no, they don't want that. They don't want to go to a food bank to get free food. To go to a, a church and go to a ministry or a homeless shelter. No, 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 no. They don't want to do that. Nope. They want you to give them $13 so they can get a sub so that they're going to be hungry an hour later. Please. If you could hook us up with that, um, we're in severe need right now. So if it could be a little more than that, it's even better because, like, you know, if it's 20 bucks, it could be, like, some water. Again, they get free bottled water from the office. There is nothing wrong with the water in that place. None whatsoever. But they actually get free bottled water. So anybody who's giving them money to get water, y'all are dumb. It's rough, guys. So I'm, I'm asking for, you, for your help again, and I appreciate you because you do step up. So Jesus bless everybody, and thank you. And uh, that's what happened. They did not get Subway, and I think that's why she flipped out and went live and raged. That was amazing, though. Ooh, that Shanny rage. That's awesome. Much better subs than Subway. Yeah, she could she could make her own, and she could probably buy enough, like the bread, like the rolls, and get some produce and some meat and cheese and make a whole bunch of subs to last her for multiple days for the amount of money they're wanting to spend on one meal at a fast food joint. So, um, <laughs> why would he want to believe that they're starving? Uh, most don't, but again, I think that there are some people out there that are not thinking straight and I'm, people are coming to me and telling me, but it's just like, I won't ever give child abusers money. I don't care if they're in the street or not. They have plenty of resources. People have reaching, been reaching out to them. Now you have adult protective services that has also given them resources. Nah, they can starve in the street if they don't want to um, ask for help. But I'm not giving them a penny, not one cent. Thank you, Jules Tells All, member for 14 months. I'm your biggest fan. Thank you, Jules, a.k.a. me. <laughs> Subway takes EBT. Yep. Well, there you go. I don't know if that's true or not, but again, it's just so, yeah, they just want fast food. They don't want actual food. They don't want to have to, like, cook anything. Well, guys, it is right about the two-hour mark. What a crazy stream that was. Uh, that was crazy. <laughs> Thank you for uh, making it fun. That was really, really, really fun. Uh, thank you to all who became members, who gifted memberships. I appreciate that. Uh, you don't have to, but I do appreciate it. If you're new to Shani, 
please do not hesitate to reach out. It's a lot of lore, a lot of history. Ask questions. There's tons of people that will help you answer them. I will help you answer them. Um, there's plenty of, of ch other channels too. If you hit me up, I can give you links to everybody's channels. There's tons of content to watch. So there's never, <laughs> there's never a day where you won't have something to watch. Anyway, guys, I will um, play you guys out with the Shanny Whale song and then maybe the, the money song. Cool. You guys have a great rest of your week. Oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Money. Uh, folks. Do you know it's his face, folks? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Ryan up, church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Well, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah.